Celtic 3, Rangers 0 and that win sends Ange Postecoglou's side to the top of the Scottish Premiership, one point ahead of the Scottish Champions after an impressive win here in front of a full house, 99.9% .9 of them all Celtic fans. And Celtic came out of the traps flying, scored as early as the fifth minute. Rio Hatati with the goal driving the shot from the edge of the box past Alan McGregor in the Rangers goal. Rangers actually called for the referee to stop the game because there was a clash of heads in the build-up to the goal, but the referee waved away their claims and said that the goal should stand. From then on, it was just relentless pressure. Celtic laying siege to the Rangers goal and make no mistake about it, this could have been six or seven before the end of the first half because Alan McGregor in the Rangers goal produced save after save, four quality saves before eventually Celtic got their second. Rio Hatati, once again, man of the match, edge of the box, curled the ball with his right foot past McGregor in the Rangers goal. Three minutes later, it was over as a contest. This time, Hatati, the provider, Abada escaped his markers and then with the outside of his right boot, just pushed the ball away nicely into the back of the net and Alan McGregor lay helpless. So, Rangers at this point well up against it and in the second half, they were bound to come out and mount a few attacks. But Ryan Jack hit the bar and there was nothing else really to write home about. Ange Postecoglou, delighted with his team's performance, but certainly not looking into the psychological boost of going top in February. Being in top spot is a sign of our progression, uh, absolutely, because you know we lost three of the first five or six, so you know we know how the Scottish Premiership works. We, we, we had to be perfect, to, almost perfect, to, to to get to where we are now. So to show, so we've been under pressure for a long time, but I think that's a testament to the players' character and and the spirit they've got that. I haven't let that affect them. We haven't looked at the table, we haven't looked at the points. After the match, Rangers manager Giovanni Van Brockhurst made no excuses. He said they deserved uh, the 3 0 scoreline at half time. He thought they were naive, and he certainly said that some of his players were playing as if it was their first ever old firm game. So Rangers have to go away and lick their wounds. Celtic will take the positives from a commanding display here. Just what they'll make of it when they get into the match against Muddle. Can they produce the same energy and the performance again? And is this a sign that? They are genuinely title contenders. Give us your view on that, the performance of the players in green and white and the negatives from Rangers' performance. It's Peter and Ruffy's Football Show. We are live at 4 o'clock on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel on Thursday. We'll see you then.